In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some super simple and beautiful beaded barefoot sandals. You're going to need a thin summery yarn, number one, number two, fingering sport weight, cotton or cotton blend. You're also going to need some four millimeter crystal beads, a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook, and a beading needle. We wanna start by threading our beads onto our yarn, and I'm using one of these wide-eyed beading needles. I can uh, show you the link for where I bought my entire beading needle set. Okay, so we're gonna add that to our yarn first, then grab our beads. We're gonna need 12 of these beads per sandal, so I'm only gonna string 12 beads on at one time. Okay, you want to slide all of the beads down until you're down to the one strand of the yarn. Then we can remove the beading needle. Place it back in the tube. Get that lid back on. We don't need any more accidents. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to slide my beads up the yarn so that I can work at the tail end here. Tie my yarn to my crochet hook. You can use a square knot, slip knot, whichever you prefer. There is no wrong way to be creative as long as you're getting the results that you want. And to begin our barefoot sandal, we're going to start with a chain four. Slip stitch to the fourth chain from your hook to form a ring. Chain three, which counts as our first double crochet then a bead chain one. So what you wanna do is slide one of the beads all the way up, all the way up to the working loop on your hook. And when it's nice and snug, chain one. That's a bead chain one. Then we'll work double crochet in the ring. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, whoops. <laughs> double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Then it's bead chain one. And you want to continue doing this till we have 12 double crochets and 12 bead chain ones.
and at the end of the last repeat you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join and this is what your work should look like at the end of round one round two begins with a chain three which counts as your first double crochet and a double crochet in the top of that same chain three which counted as a double remember and then we're going to skip the next bead chain one and work two double crochets in the top of the next double crochet and repeat this all the way around At the end of the last repeat you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join and this is what your work should look like at the end of round two notice that the beads are showing on the other side of the work that will be fine row three begins with chain one and single crochet in the same stitch chain three skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet chain nine single crochet in the same double crochet chain three skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet chain nine single crochet in the same double crochet chain three skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet chain nine single crochet in the same double crochet chain three skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet chain nine and single crochet in the same double crochet chain three skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet chain nine single crochet in the same double crochet chain three skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet we're not going to complete the rest of this round we're only working a partial row you want to make sure that you have five 
chain nine spaces surrounded by chain three spaces and that completes row three. Row four begins by turning our work and single crochet in that first chain three space, chain three. In this chain nine space here, we're going to work five double crochets, chain three, five double crochets. chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, in the next chain nine space work five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three. In the next chain nine space, we're going to work five double crochet, chain 20, five double crochet. chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet in the next chain nine space,
chain, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet in the next chain nine space, chain three and single crochet in the next chain three space. And that completes the end of row four of our barefoot sandal. You want to fasten off and then to make the ties that wrap around the ankle, we're going to slip stitch and join into the first chain three space. Oh, actually that would be the last one. For each tie, we're going to work into the first chain three space of row four slip stitch to join chain 140 and fasten off and then we'll do the same thing again in this last chain three space slip stitch to join chain 140 and fasten off and that's all we need to make a barefoot sandal you'll want to repeat this for your second sandal and i have a second one made here it's going to make the ties on both of them and then they are ready to wear so we're going to tie the yarn to our crochet hook slip stitch to join in one of those chain three spaces chain 140 and fasten off then repeat for the opposite side here and repeat for both on here and then we're all done follow the link in the video description to get the pattern and get resources where to find everything else as well